Hey everybody in internet land, I know that you're feeling it because it comes through media. Just receive it right now. Either you have a spirit of offense on you right now or you're receiving it. Bam. Bam. Okay, well, um, I'm higher than I have ever been in my life and that's just what I wanted to touch on this evening is the fact that there's always a harder hit and I used to think or be taught which made me very sad was that you get filled you leak it out, you get filled, you leak it out. But it's not true, boys and girls. Is what happens is you get hit, you adjust, kind of like when you are addicted to drugs and you get immune to that amount of drug, so then you need more to get that same feeling. Well, with the Holy Ghost is what happens, is you get a hard hit, and then you adjust to it, and then another hit comes, and you adjust to it, and it's hit after hit after hit throughout all eternity, man. And when I went to Fort Wayne, I went to a whole nother level of intoxication and it didn't leak out. I am still possessing it. I'm still carrying it. When I would drink from Rodney Howard Brown meetings, it's like I would grab it possess it and continue to carry it and boys and girls it just keeps accelerating but I understand the fullness of the Godhead is inside of us and I was thinking how can I theologically explain this thing and the best way I think that I can explain it is the fullness of the Godhead is inside of us and we partake of one another as the body of Christ, eating of the same loaf. And basically, it's just drawing out an expression of the infinite God when I get around someone that has a unique expression of God. That's the best way that I can even put any type of like make any sense out of this thing boys and girls but when I drink from Rodney Howard Brown I possessed an expression that intensified the weather system when I watch Rodney uh, Toronto footage I would possess an expression and it would be even heavier and sometimes when I'm just by myself I get hit with a wave and then I possess that but I th I know for a fact this thing is accelerating like you would not believe every day is so flipping overwhelming the presence of God he's so good the angels are constantly crying out holy 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 they just get one revelation after another of this awesome god it's just overwhelming boys and girls it's like we can spend all eternity getting to know and getting hit harder and getting more and more the weather system just it keeps increasing in energy. That's all I can say, boys and girls. And it changes our environment. Holy cow, does it change our environment. 
when I first started working in Disneyland, the department I've experienced this over and over again. I'll be plugged into a department and start working there. When I first get there, it's like, man, there's just all this demonic buzzing in the department. And each day I show up, it gets lighter and people get happier and sweeter. Or else the some of them end up like, that have a lot of like friends and they don't want to give them up. But deep inside, I think they do want to give up, give up the, the friends. But a lot of times they just end up like leaving the job. But deep inside, everybody wants us. That's why everybody searches the world for what we possess. Just like from John Crowder's book, I love that, where it's like we carry the desires of the nations. And it's so true. We possess, Jesus is our utopia. He is our nirvana. He is our bliss. Well, that's it for today. But I will talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.